Hi, I'm Rick Foster. Welcome back to Rick Uncork 365. Well, today I'm going to be sampling a Rodney Strong Chardonnay. Now, this is from the Sonoma Valley, but this is a little unique in the Chardonnay. It's all Chardonnay grape, 100% Chardonnay grape, but the Rodney Strong Vineyard makes this Chardonnay from Chardonnay grapes grown in three different counties in Central California. So part of this, well, most of the Chardonnay grapes come from Sonoma. That's about 60% from Sonoma. And then there's a, uh, another 30% that come from the uh, Santa Barbara County. And then another, you know, I think it's like 40 or 25% that comes from Monterey County. Now these are going to have a little bit of a different taste because each region of those counties have a dif different um, elevation. They're all sort of protected by the marine layers along the coast of California. So the grapes will never get too hot from um, intense uh, sunlight. But being that it's in different elevations in throughout the central region of California, they're gonna have a little bit of a different taste. So the blending of the three counties of the Chardonnay is what gives this wine a, unique, um, a uniqueness. The reason I chose this wine was it has been um, fermented with pineapple and pear. Now pear is one of my favorite fruits and I've seldomly have ever come across a wine that does it well, where it's either not in, tastes like an imitation pear, but is a fresh, re, you know, refreshing pear flavor. I'm curious to see how this pairs with the pineapple and the pear in the fruit. And what's also unique about the way that this wine is made is not only because it's growing at Chardonnays in three separate counties along the central coast of California, but they ferment 60% of the wine in an oak barrel. So it stays in that oak barrel for about six months, 60% of the wine. The other 40% is actually fermented in a steel vat. The steel vat is kept at a cool temperature and that's where they're gonna ferment the fruits, the pineapple, the pears, because you really can't ferment that pineapple and pear in an oak barrel for a long period of time at a higher temperature uh, than in a chilled vat. It just would spoil, it would, it would taste like rotten fruit. So it is 40% uh, distilled in um, a uh, metal vat, kept at a low temperature, and then as the fermenting process goes along, they start to add more and more of the um, metal vat uh, batch of wine with that of which is in the oak barrels. And then they let it ferment for a while by itself before bottling. I'm curious to see how this tastes that it's supposed to be infused with the pear and the pineapple along with the Chardonnay um, grapes in oak barrel. I will let you know what I think. That is very pleasant. That is a nice, crisp, that's a Chardonnay. I know I've been tasting some Chardonnays that haven't really tasted like Chardonnay. They've tasted like watered down apple juice. This one tastes like a Chardonnay. It has that oak flavor and it's a mild oak. It's not a forced infused oak flavor. Some Chardonnays have this really powerful oak flavor that I feel almost like it's like they put in some the artificial flavor of oak just to get the oak flavor. This has a nice, mild, smooth oak taste to it and smell. Um, I'm gonna let it open for a minute. I don't taste um, quite the pear. I taste a little hint of, of pineapple, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this another um, taste here. That's very nice. I taste the pineapple. I don't really taste a lot of the pear, but maybe in the back end there might be a little hint of pear. Um, I'm tasting a little vanilla. I'm tasting um, the Chardonnay grapes are the, are the star here. And that is so, It's uh, you have no idea how, re how pleasantly surprised and refreshing that is to have for a California Chardonnay to not be over 
burdened with apple. So I'm not tasting a strong apple taste, a hint of the apple just for the sweetness, but the pineapple is actually very, very nice. And the blend of that oak really is mild and it is blended well with that Chardonnay grape. Now, I can't honestly tell you the difference of each region of the Chardonnay and how that plays into the flavoring here. But what I can say is that the blend of that Chardonnay is actually a very nice, smooth, medium, toned Chardonnay grape. So it's not real heavy on the fruit. It's not real heavy on the sweet. And it's got that nice balance of oak that really carries out throughout the entire tasting of this. Well, thanks for joining me on this segment and uh, hope to see you back soon. Cheers.